Next up, next up is Switch. Goodbye. <laughs> Get ready for a game where you have to be in the number one spot. It's time to play Switch. Ten thousand dollars. Five contestants are waiting to take their places behind these five giant numbers. Our speed round will determine the starting position. So get ready to buzz in. Here's, Here's your first, first question. question. Jim Carrey got his Jim Carrey. face big break on what sketch show? Bum, so bum, bum, bum. The mask. Is it the mask? It's no, sorry. <laughs> the next question. How will we call the black card? The Centurion is an invitation only product by what credit card company? Taylor. American Express. Is it American Express? Yes, it is. Express, Taylor, number one spot. Here's, Here's the, the next, next question. question. If you want to feed your local hummingbirds, you should mix four parts water with one part water. what? Sugar. Is, is it, it sugar? sugar? It's yes, sugar. it is. Very graceful, Thomas. This is the final question of the speed round. Used to prevent choking, what doctor's maneuver is also called the subdiaphragmatic abdominal thrust? Remy. The Heimlich um, um. maneuver. Is it the Heimlich maneuver? Yes, it is. All right, Taylor is in the first position, followed by Thomas, Remy, Jackie, and Selena is behind the number five. It is time to play Switch. Switch, 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 switch. All right, let me tell you how this game works. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Every question you answer correctly, you could move up. Every question you answer wrong, you, you can could move down. down. There are five questions in the round. If you're behind the number five, the end of the round will be going out. Everybody got it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Here's your first question. In the 90s, what wildly successful comedy tour featured Steve Harvey, DLP, Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer, and Bernie Mac? Comics Come Home, Kings of Comedy, or Blue Collar Comedy Tour? Locking your answers. Hi, right, Jackie. Bum, bum. We're starting with you. Do you remember this one? There's only one on here that I've actually heard of, so it's the one I went with, okay. which is Kings of Comedy. All right. Did she get it right? Is it Kings of Comedy? Let's see. It is yes, King it is. There you go, Jackie. Let me get us started. Let's see who else got, got it right. Oops. Taylor Thomas, let me Jackie all get it right. There is no switch on this question. Here is your next question. Of the Major League Baseball teams named for animals, which are there more of? Fish, birds, or reptiles? Locking your answers. Bung, bung. All right, Taylor, are you a baseball fan first? I am. Okay, so did you just start rolling through that all the teams? Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, there's a lot of fish out there, so i with that. Going with fish? Yeah. Is it fish? It's birds. Birds. Let's see, Let's see who else got it right. Oops. Switch, 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 switch. Thomas, you just jumped right into that spot. I right? This is time. Yeah. I'm here. Well, welcome. Here's your next question. In 2011, what celebrity briefly called himself Swag? Did he? Joaquin Phoenix or RuPaul? Rupert. Lock in your answers. Boom, boom, boom. Right, Thomas. When it comes to nicknames, you can't give yourself a nickname, can you? I mean, I guess you can. Yeah. Guess you can. If you had to give me a nickname, what would it be? A dapper. Ooh. Take it. My nickname what you choose? is... All right, so I know... I, I'm, I'm pretty confident oh, that oh, it's oh, not oh, RuPaul. Oh, oh, so with Diddy and Walking Phoenix, I feel like Diddy has more swag, so that's why I chose it. 
Okay. He also has more nicknames, I bet. Yeah. I'm He's gone through some names. Yeah. These are they rolled so, through them. I, I feel like it's. I'm glad he settled on one final. <laughs> All right. Is he right? Is it Diddy? That's Diddy. right. <laughs> All right. You're going to hold on to this number one spot. Let's see who else got it right. Let's see who else got it right. Wow. Everyone got it right. There is no switch on this question. Here's your next question. Taking roughly 38 minutes to rotate, what became the world's largest Ferris wheel when it opened in 2021? The Ein Dubai, the High Roller, or the London Eye? Mm -hmm. Hi, Remy. Your arm okay? My arm's fine. Yeah, you're not pitching okay. today, are you? No. <laughs> okay, good. What did you choose? You know, I have actually been to this attraction before, and it's the only one I really know about. So that's the first one that came to mind, the London Eye. Okay, was it scary? Not at all, it's very peaceful. Yeah? Beautiful. All right, guess I'm gonna have to try it. So yeah, what'd you choose? I ended up going with the Eye in Dubai, only because Dubai, they're known for old Dubai and new Dubai, and uh -huh. new Dubai is still building, and they've been building since 2016, 2017, so I just went with Dubai. All right, figured they got a new one. Yeah, hopefully. Gotta put up a Ferris wheel for right. a new part of the city. <laughs> What is the correct answer? It is the Ein Dubai. Okay. Let's see who else got this right. Let's see who else got it right. Oops. All right, Thomas, Jackie, and Samina all got it right. It is time to switch. Switch, 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 switch. All right, this is the final question of, of the round. Taylor. This is your last chance to switch out of that five Number spot. Five spot. You gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. All right. I'm gonna do it. Here's your final question. Instead of a DeLorean, an early draft of Back to the Future has Marty McFly traveling through time in what? A washing machine, a refrigerator, or a television? Locking your answers. Boom, boom. All right. No matter what happens, there's some brilliant producer out there who walked in the room and said, whoa, 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 we're not doing this. It's going to be this sweet car called the DeLorean. There's no way is he going back to the future in that. What did you choose? You what know, you I figured you couldn't fit inside a washing machine or a television very easily. Have you ever I tried? No. <laughs> no? Okay. no, I just picked what seemed like the logical size. I said refrigerator. Okay. If you get it right, you're going to be sick. Okay. Is she right? Is it Did she get it right? It is a refrigerator. Let's see who else got it right. You're going to get this right and hope that someone up here got it wrong to keep you in this game. Let's see who, who else got it right. right. Oops. So we got Raymond, the ones who get it right. It is time to switch. Switch, 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 switch. Number one spot. I'm shocked. We need to say goodbye. This program is made possible by. Before at the end of this, though, you are going home. You're going home. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Here's your first question. Which of these sitcoms mostly takes place in the 1990s? The Goldbergs, Everybody Hates Chris, or Young Sheldon? Locking your answers. Bum, bum, bum. All right, Thomas. You were in this one spot for a long time. I was, I Does it was. feel weird down there? I don't know, three is still my lucky number, so hopefully it pulls through for me now. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you called me dapper, so I'm rooting for you. I think. <laughs> Thomas, what did you choose? All right, all right. So, um, I don't really know the Goldberg. So between Everybody Hates Chris and Young Sheldon, I feel like because it's when Sheldon's a kid, I feel like it's more likely to take place in the 90s. So I said Young Sheldon. Okay. Jeez. Did he get it right? Is it Young Sheldon? It is Young From Sheldon. From CBS, Young Sheldon. Let's, Let's see who's got it right. Oops. Number one, two, and four wrong. 
Switch, 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 switch. Thomas with Grace back in the number one. Well done, well done. There are three questions left. Here is your next question. Americans like to knock wood for good luck, but what do Italians prefer? Touching iron, breaking glass, or licking skin? Locking your answers. Boom, boom, boom. Smeha, what did you choose? What you say? I ended up going with breaking glass only because I've seen that as a custom with other traditions, so I'm hoping the Italians just follow everyone else. Or let them. Yeah, or let them. <laughs> did she get it right? Is it breaking glass? It is touching iron. Let's see who got it right. Jackie's on the right. She's coming to number one. It is time to switch. There she is. <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. Well done. Hey. Have you ever touched iron while in Italy? Not while I'm hot. Ah, smart. <laughs> Here's your next question. Next question is this. Brad Pitt claims to have prosopagnosia, which means he has trouble identifying what? Faces, smells, or colors? Bum, bum, bum. What is the correct answer? Faces. He scratches up the face. Let's see who else got it right. Whoops. Switch, 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 switch. And good mobility. Yeah. Thanks to you. <laughs> the surgery worked. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we've come to the final question of, of the this speed round. round. It's a big one. Whoever is behind the number four at the end of this is going home. home. But Sabina, you got a chance. I do. Got a chance. All right. Final question of the round. In the original book, The Story of Dr. Doolittle, what bird teaches Dr. Doolittle how to talk like the animals? Row, row the raven. Why is it all about the raven? Or Go, go, the raven. Lock in your answers. Bum, bum, bum. Wise old Jackie, elf. Do you remember this book? No. Do you remember the movie? I did see the movie when I was a little kid. Okay. He was a youngster. So I so. don't remember it well, but I just picked the answer that had the word wise in it. because Wise old elf. Think, if they're that, wise, right? That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. So the wise old owl. The wise old elf. Like makes sense, right? Totally makes sense to yeah. Jackie. All right, Thomas, what'd you choose? So, I remember watching the original film of this, and I keep on picturing the, 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 this the, parrot, the parrot talking the parrot. to him, so I, I feel like it's Polynesia. I hope that's my girl. I okay. Hope that's Let's see who got it right. Let's see who else got it right. Thomas got it right, because it's Polynesia, the parrot. All right, Thomas, you're safe. You're on to the next round. See how. You're going to keep this right and hope that someone up here got it wrong. Let's, Let's see who else got it right. Oops. Switch, 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 switch. At the end of the round, we have Remy holding on to this number one. And I'm sorry, Smith. I'm shocked. Yeah, we have to say goodbye. Thank you for playing Switch. See you next time. One of Deep down, I knew something was wrong. Since my fatigue and lightheadedness would come and go, I figured it wasn't a big deal. Then I saw my doctor and found out I have a fib. And that means there's about a five times greater risk of stroke. Symptoms like irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness can come and go. But if you have a fib, the risk of stroke is always there. If you have one or more symptoms, Get checked out. Holding off on seeing a doctor won't change whether or not you have AFib. But if you do, making that appointment can help you get ahead of stroke risk. Contact a doctor and learn more at notimetowait.com. We're Carvana. The $100,000 pyramid is going to be coming up next. The dollar pyramid, weekdays starting at 4 on Game Show Network. Welcome back to Switch. Welcome back to Switch. As we head into the final round, Remy is in the top spot, followed by 
Kyle Thomas and Jackie Stim behind the number three. There are just three questions left. These three questions will determine who wins and who gets a shot at $10,000. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it. Here's your first question. In what classic Michael Caine movie can you hear him exclaim, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off? Elfie, the Italian job, or get cart? Mocking your answers. Bung, bung, bung. Hi, Remy. In our top spot? Did you ever catch any of these Michael Caine movies? Not really. I'm most familiar with Alfie, and there's a great music to it and everything, and I'm probably kind of that generation that wouldn't know of these. <laughs> but just the quote seems to be kind of mafia-oriented, like the Italian job. So okay. I guess that one. All right. Did Remy get it right? Did you get it right? The Italian job. The Italian job? It is the Italian job. Spot. Let's, Let's see who else got it right. Wow. Got it right. There is no switch. Let's see who else question. got it right. Two questions left. Here's your next one. Frustrating sailors throughout history, the doldrums is an area of low winds located where? Around the equator, Mediterranean Sea, or below Africa. Lock in your answers. Okay, Thomas. Miss Thomas? Uh, no, but sometimes I swear like one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What did you choose? I just said below Africa because I feel like I hear about, you know, ships in the Mediterranean Sea. I feel like things be around the equator, but I never really hear about, like, you know, below Africa. So okay. we're, we're going to say that. That's what we're going with. All right. Did he get it right? It below Africa. It is around the equator. Let's see who else got it right. Oops. Remy is the only one who did it right. She's holding on to this number one. There's no switch on this question. Okay. We've come to, to the, the final, final switch. switch. This is the last time you can get behind this number one and get a shot at $10,000. $10, Anybody can do this. Just got to be number one. Here is your final, final question. question. Who had Ellie Kemper as a student during his Ellie time teaching high school drama in Missouri? John Hamm. John Cho. Or John Legend. Lock in your answers. Bung, bung. All right, we made it to, to the, the final, final switch. switch. Remy, you can hold on to this number one spot. For no, number one spot. Can hold on one more time? time. Well, I'm not so sure. No? Oh. <laughs> Thomas. You've been sliding back and forth with a I bunch have. of pizzazz. We've been seeing it. I know, I have all over the place. You can dance your way into this number one spot. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Jackie, we see it all the time. The switch from three to one to steal the game on the last question. Anything can happen, right? Anything can happen, Jackie. <laughs> to win the game, to get a shot at $10,000. Let's, Let's see, see what you got it. about it. Oops. Switch, 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 switch. Congratulations. Congratulations to Thomas. We have to say goodbye. We lose. This program is made possible by. Number one, one spot. You now have a chance to turn that into ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Let me explain how we play the big stage. You're gonna start down there behind the number five, right? I'll ask you a series of questions. Everyone you get right, come this way. Everyone you get wrong, go back that way. There's sixty seconds on the clock. If you make it back to the number one and answer the question correctly, you win ten thousand dollars. So good? Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 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 Let's put sixty seconds on the clock. Thomas, your time starts as soon as I finish reading the first question. A Yukon Gold is a popular variety of what veggie? Uh, potato. Correct. Each year, who delivers the annual State of the Union address to Congress? The President of the United States. Correct. Though many people use it generically, the term jet ski is a trademark of what company? 
Uh, Honda. No. What actress holds the record for the most Tony Awards for performance? Um, um, uh, uh Adele. No. The hare and the tortoise is one of many fables by what ancient Greek writer? Uh, um, um. Mm, Hurry! Wrong. What creepy crawly animal are arachnophones afraid of? Centipedes. Spiders. Wrong. Darjeeling and chamomile are popular types of what about Correct. <laughs> 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 the source of the river is found in what country? 